Welcome back to the Cigar Dungeon Podcast. Two-minute warning cigar review here on the Cigar <clears throat> Dungeon Podcast. Listen to it wherever you listen to podcasts, Spotify, etc., etc. Today on the podcast, we smoked the Viva La Vida Jester paired with the Bushmills 10-year single malt sherry cask. We also went and looked back at a list of all the cigars of the year Cigar Aficionado ever had from 2022, going all the way back to 2005, was it? Somewhere around there. Four? Sure. I won't even, why even ask you guys? You guys don't. We don't even pay attention. <laughs> also, he doesn't remember what he's talking about, so what does it matter? Uh so, to, you know how we do on the Cigar Dungeon Podcast. We put 40 seconds up on the clock. We're going to give you what we thought about today's pairing, and that'll be all for today. Are you ready, Marty? Yeah, sure. All right, so talking about this cigar, honestly, this cigar came out of the gates as a powerhouse. Lots of full flavor. If you're not a full flavor cigar person, this probably isn't for you. It's got to, you know, it's got to warm up to you a little bit. Uh, we're talking about the... The Hooch, which is Bushmills, 10 years. Um, honestly, the, the pairing was actually very nice. Um, you're going to have to warm into it a little bit because... Uh, I don't He's know. He's going to wind it up? I don't know. He's running at the clock. Take James started like, shaking <laughs> bottles in front of me. And, like, All right, James, I are you ready? I don't know what ready. we're talking about anymore. The Viva La Vida Jester was a great pack-a-punch cigar. I recommend this to cigar smokers who are looking to try something strong. Very peppery off the note, very, very st strong still. <laughs> you muddled me with dumbness. Uh -huh. I would have to say that this cigar is a good cigar to smoke with friends or in a conversation. It's one that you want to put down and then pick up and revisit. I think if you tried to power through this, if you're a fast smoker, you might get too much about it, kind of scorch your taste buds. It paired awesome with the Bushmills Single Malt Irish Whiskey Triple Distilled. It's a lot like a scotch. There's some peatiness to it. It's a really, it's a bit sharp while still being very well balanced. And I think the pairing was delightful. The Viva La Vida cigar was a fantastic cigar. It absolutely pummeled my taste buds off the bat in the first third, but somewhere about the halfway point, it kind of opened up and became a much more pleasant cigar. Um, yeah, we're all dumb. It's very full. <laughs> the Bushmills, both of the cigars I would not, the cigar and the whiskey I would not recommend to the novice. They are very full, very powerful um, pairing today. The Bushmills Tenure Sherry Cask, Definitely, if nobody told you that this was an Irish whiskey, it was, you would believe it was a scotch. Not a big fan of peatiness, but the peatiness in this whiskey was not offensive. But like I said, not for the novice. This this whiskey and the cigar might actually turn the novice off of whiskey and cigars. <laughs> but as someone who's been smoking cigars for a while, it was enjoyable. It's nice to dial up to 100 every now and then, right? 11. <laughs> we, took, we took this podcast to 11. Smoke good cigars, drink good booze, eat good food. Cheers. Cheers. Yes.